with uh, Kathy and Becky, Becca, sorry. <laughs> and you guys are here to talk about the traffic signal boxes. You're looking for new applicants for this year's traffic signal painting of the traffic signal boxes. So if you've seen a couple of the um, art that's been done on all the traffic signal boxes, these are the folks you need to talk to if you want to do one. So let's talk a little bit about how people can get involved with the Public Art Committee in this. Well, thanks so much. Thanks so yeah, much for having you. us. Um, first of all, our this is our 10th annual Signal Box project. Wow. We started it in 2009 and have done it either once or twice a year since that time frame. And this year, um, we just we have a lot of interest already, but we wanted to let artists out in Missoula County, because it's limited to those artists in Missoula County, and remind them that the deadline is coming up. It's June 30th. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, yeah, and so we, um, artists can go to, um, and Becca will help us with those websites, mm -hmm. but artists have to create a model along with their application mm -hmm. and that model has to be at least 12 inches high and replicate the artists the artwork that they're submitting so we want to make sure they have enough time to put that together as well as their application yep. so right. part of the application process is they have to have like a, a concept but mm -hmm. they also have Aspect to have a model too exactly right exactly right um, you can look for those are this art call specifically as well as well as other art calls in the future on our website at missoula public art.org as well as the city of missoula public art website so let's kind of go through this website um like let's go through the application process so i'm going on here and i want to apply so what sure, would I click you can on? click on art calls and current art calls and there is a link to the submittable page there where it says here and we've gone, a lot of the museums and galleries in the area have gone to a program um, that actually was developed in Missoula called submittable.com. Mm -hmm. Right. And right. go through the application process there. It is so easy. Yes. So you just submit your online application through that link. And then, as Kathy said, bring your live model. Um, cool. Yes. It, it basically tells you everything that you need to know. It tells us everything we what, need to know. What, what do you think people need to know before they go into this, before they... You know, they just truly have an idea. One of the great things about the Traffic Signal Box is, project is it's open to Missoula artists, of course, and Missoula County artists, but there is no theme. So that is why when you drive around town and there are currently 47 signal boxes completed mm -hmm. out of 72 or 72 or 73 they're you know they're adding boxes but truly they are such a wide variety and that is what is so exciting so whatever an artist's media is and what what they would like to do is it truly can be replicated their their imagery and their themes can be rec replicated mm -hmm. on the signal boxes now and actually there's one of two ways to do it artists can either actually paint on site or they can actually have their imagery reproduced on vinyl at any of the sign shops in Missoula that actually print on vinyl okay. and then those shops will apply it and this year our award uh, for the artists has been raised to fifteen hundred dollars per box mm -hmm. so and all of that money then goes to the artists either for them to buy their painting supplies etc and their time and labor for actually doing the box um, or for um, using the vinyl and that whole vinyl mm. process. And how many applicants are you looking for? Oh my gosh, we have, well we have four boxes. Um, they are located throughout the city. There's um, one at the corner, there will be one at the corner of Wardens, one by Miller Creek and Highway 93. We have one at Russell and North mm -hmm. and also one at Garfield and South. Hmm. So, and we typically try to do about that many a year. So, you know, sometimes more, sometimes right. less. Um, right. All of this money is donated, so there is no line item budget amount within the city or um, public art budget. Cool. So we either get grants, foundation monies, or business donations, or individual donations. Great. So, um, I guess, what are some of the artists, I mean, like, we already talked about artist requirements, and I think the really cool thing about this particular thing is that it's uh, also open for non-conventional artists Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, cool. What can you tell us about, because, you know, my favorite is Courtney Blazon. She has a lot of cool <laughs> artwork as well, yeah. and she has one that she actually, not just the art, art box itself, but mm -hmm. the uh, the pole it wraps around. Right. She also did a little mm -hmm. bit of that. Right. So you're always looking for uh, folks who are creative and try to think outside of the box and you help them along the way. Well, and the other thing is artists don't get to choose a box. So uh, what there is a selection committee and we juror, 
jury the boxes and then we select our finalists and then we have the artists come in for an interview and talk about their designs etc mm -hmm. and some boxes people will see is that they tend to be more pedestrian oriented in that they're in places where you there are more people walking and there's right. more to examine on right. the piece mm -hmm. And then others are more vehicular oriented and they're easy to see when you drive by and you don't have to stop necessarily and examine it acutely. Yeah, I think there's something beautiful about the project because yes, there can be professional artists, but also it's a community endeavor where we're looking for just creative people and you don't have to have been painting your entire life. You, you can just be interested and be creative and create something for Missoula to see. Yeah, yeah, the goal is to have wonderful and beautiful and good art. Mm -hmm, and right. you know, there's uh, obviously we've we've had a wide variety variety of age groups. We've had um, students from high school. We've had um, mm -hmm. established artists. We've had people that have never been involved in the public art program before. And that's what we really like too, because there are artists who have maybe done commissions and had gallery shows, but they have not actually gone through a public art process where they actually sign a contract right. and look at and go through all of those phases mm -hmm. of really getting the piece um, approved and then done, etc. Mm -hmm. And this one is fairly easy, but it does it does introduce artists that have never dealt in the public art world those types of things that they need to go through. Right. Um, the other part of this is after we make the submissions, um, or after we make the decisions rather, then all of the artwork will be done the same weekend as the Roots Festival, River City Roots Festival. And that's what we've done over the years too because there's a lot going on in Missoula. If the artists are out there painting or if the sign companies are out there with the artists applying the vinyl to the boxes, it's more of a festive atmosphere because there's so much going on in Missoula. Right. Great. So. Um, um, I think you n nailed it on the head. You talked about everything. Um, once again, uh, how can people apply to be artists? I'll let you take that. Yeah, I think just go to our website, missoulapublicart.org, and click on Art Calls, and that'll directly um, give you directions for the online application as well as where to submit your um, physical model, or go to the City of Missoula website to um, Public Art, cool. and they can direct you there. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. Yeah, so thank much. you so much. We hope to see a lot of applications. Yes. And once again, uh, application deadline is June 20th. 30th. June 30th. 30th. Oh, June 30th. 30th. It's not even 30th. Yeah, it's the end of the month. Yes. Uh, next Friday. That's right. And you.